Actress Princess Shingo has advised married women on what to do about their cheating husbands. According to the actress, in a post shared via her Instagram page, she wrote, If married women also cheat every time they catch their husbands cheating, I promise you married men will start thinking twice before cheating on their wives. Oh, no, I do. you think so? <laughs> yes. you think so? Yes. With time, women know they cheat. Uh-uh. I think it's a 50-50 ball game right now because if you look at the rate of cheating, especially on the island, my guy, if you look at the rate of married women that look at young boys these days and they just wink at you. Mm -hmm. How many? Know, it, they happen. Because no. guys are steady looking for sugar mummies they cannot find. While me, on the other hand, I, I, I just need to walk outside. And I have to be saying no to like married men on a steady. So like it's not the same. No, it's it's not the same. Of course, the ratio can be compared. The, right? So fifty fifty is very wrong. Okay, no, I'm talking about in terms of cheating. Sometimes it might be with your boss. It might be with a younger colleague. It can be with. But the fact that I have men throwing themselves more at me, and every other girl has the same story. Mm. Men are doing a lot more. See, it's a man's world, and it's a more. A, a, see, that woman stuff here yeah, is risky. Mm. People don't like it. The shame for women doing small boys mm. is very, very risky. And at the end of the day, too. So it's not the same thing. Well, on, for, for the men, it's almost like, eh, now, as it should be, how many do you even have? They'll not be arguing, mm. oh, I have small mm. girls. Oh, da, 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 da. You can never sit here and tell me that 50% 50. It's, in fact, it's like 80 and 40 or so. I nah. don't know whatever the number 60, is. 40. But it's maybe, whatever. Yeah, but 60, it's, a, it's, it's way more than the women's own. I mean, everybody... In, the, in that sense where you're saying that er, like most people who cheat, mm. like cheat, it's not like necessarily one gender, but I think that there is a, there's more gra, gra and with your full chest confidence that come with men, and I feel like they're a lot more rampant than women. Well, that one day, but at the end of the day, do you think advising women to cheat on their husbands for every time to cheat is also a very good advice? Um, uh, because yesterday we were talking about Shingu, and now, uh, you know, words are very dumb sometimes. Absolutely. I mean, anyone that wants to be look, sitting here and be getting agitated about advice for women and who, I, I don't know, I feel like don't be taking advice from the internet. But what would you do? In general, I will not be with a man that cheats. If a man should cheat on you, I will leave you him. It's not a. That's not a. That's not do a. Do or die. Affair. Yes, I'm not doing that. I'm not mm. doing cheating. I can do a lot of things, but I cannot do cheating. And the person that I'm going to be with will understand that. In fact, it's very hard for you to even be a cheat and last to your marriage with me because I will catch you and I will leave How you. How do you catch you? Start See, with your phone. cheating. Cheating is a mindset thing. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. The way a faithful man moves and the way a someone that cheats moves is very different. Mm. So even if I don't catch you, when I know that you're not very open with your phone, even if I don't see anything, there are people that... But I don't have to be open to my, with my phone for me to be cheating. In my personal opinion, and the personal experience I've had, people who value honesty, loyalty, and all of that stuff are very sharing. Baby, please help me pick up that phone. Text this guy for me. Oh, da 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 da, -da. Cheaters don't do that. So by the time I start seeing that we're, we're getting to know each other and you're doing me like this, mm. or work is calling you at one odd three, hour, three, three. or you know there's some ghosting silence for a bit, and when you come back, your stories don't add up. I don't need to catch you in cheating. I'm not interested. Be going because I'm not like that. I don't even romance the idea whatsoever. But even if, because I know life can be funny, if. Um, what's it called? I end up marrying you or whatever, and you want to, you want the devil to use you. I'm not doing. Anyways, um, for me, I think it's still a very bad advice to be advising women to cheat on their men because they say two wrongs never make a right. But if I do think people would sit up if they knew that their wives were cheating back because okay, they were cheating. So let me tell you a funny post I saw on the internet. Yeah, someone said. Um, a woman decided to cheat on her husband because he cheated, and then she got pregnant. We were in the marriage. The man who cheated. Who ruined the marriage? It's not the person that got pregnant. Bro, the minute you went outside to go and cheat, you ruined the marriage. Are you okay? Anyways, that's not my opinion. 
Anyways, let's move on to the next story. And this one is on Nigerian comedian Princess, who has recounted our ex husband Jeremiah Adishola maltreated her during a pregnancy. The popular comedian made this known during the chat with Chude Gideon Wo. According to the actress, the hours before she lost the pregnancy, her then husband acted unbothered as she experienced severe pains. I didn't even know that maybe I had an ectopic pregnancy, but I knew something was wrong. I remember telling my husband, begging him, Can you help me rub my back? And he said he was not interested. So I remember walk, waking him up and begging him that he, I feel I'm going to die any moment from now, but I don't want to die inside the house. He should please tell the neighbors so that they can take me to the hospital. I'll die peacefully there. How do you feel about the story? I feel like a lot of men are usually not there for their wives during pregnancy. Why not? I should be asking you as a man. Um, I think that that is the best time for you to be around. I think that is, I've seen a lot of men that were quite very responsible irresponsible yeah right. but the moment their women got pregnant, pregnant and stuff you see them changing and be like man i'm starting a family now i can't just be out there i have to be around for my wife you get and i respect things like that so it surprises me when a lot of men when their wives are pregnant are now the ones now these are even men that are going to have kids with women they're not even married to do you understand and they're being all responsible and stuff so why would you get married to a woman and then when she's pregnant you can't be there it's a question i would ask as well mm. i think um no nah, that's a bit mean to say but i think the quality of men in this country is very pathetic to be mm. honest i've never seen anything like it i mean sa has violence against women as a big pandemic like there is a lot of rape and death like killing women mm. um and so that i know that, that that's huge there but in terms of like day-to-day -day handling for the ones that are not killers and rapists, mm -hmm. I've never heard such a thing that I hear here. Even down from cheating to being absent to being like being complacent and just being a deadbeat is so it's so easy to be here because yeah, yeah. society does not say anything. Like I remember I was saying, I don't know who I was telling the story, like when I was younger, because my mom's a single parent. And when I was younger, I mean in the house she she's quite superwoman. So I didn't really feel it that oh Oh, they're supposed to be two parents because she was very sufficient. Mm -hmm. And then when I got a bit older, I realized that uh, almost, they're supposed to be a dad because I'm not going to other people's houses and stuff. And I used to think it was some special thing, like my family was one that had a problem. Until I went to boarding school and I realized it was even odd if your parents were together. Can mm. you imagine? Whoa. Like boarding school, visiting days. That's when I realized like, oh, um, first of all, you're not special. First. In fact, the ones that the dad came was even like, we thank you, God for that on a normal that place is packed with mothers only hmm. very spirit like sporadic men here and there hmm. and by the time we start all having conversations because we're getting older so just so just three you can start to articulate your feelings and you're becoming a young adult sort of do you know what i mean like when i begin to have conversations you realize that a lot of people are experiencing that and that was the first time i started realizing that it's not even just divorce like people who are together married but they're actually not living together. The dad is not there. The dad has left them for another mm. woman. It's so common and so rampant. And so, mm. like, it's almost like a fatherless nation. And I, I, I think it's really, really, really sad. Even in this office, I've heard stories like this, where mm. there was a lot of harm done to the lady when she was pregnant. I don't know if you know who I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. she's quite vocal with that. And she said, shared it on, if, on, our state, on our, some of our programs as well as to how she's experienced that. And even the response is like, oh, yeah, everybody has a similar story. So... It's very scary. It's very scary. I think our uh, men should do a whole lot better. I think that's the time the women need, or the, need us the most and then right. try to be there. All right, so moving on to the next story. Dr. Dre has lost another battle in his custody divorce. A judge has ordered him to and his ex-wife another $1.5 million, which is equivalent to £1.1 million, to cover more legal fees. The rap mogul will not have to pay in excess of $4 million, which is equivalent to £2.9 million, to cover Nicole Young's costs. The charges are a result of Nicole are in top family law experts Samantha Spector and Lisa Elfend, Mayor, who have significant years of experience in family law and have extensive practice experience in complex family law matters. Both sides are now being encouraged to meet and confer over what the cost might be to take the case to trial. I think, man, Nicole is actually pushing, you know, this guy is giving you like 264 five guys she's hurt thousand dollars she's hurt in spouse support monthly he has not failed on that 
Do you understand? But you are still pushing for legal expenses of she one point. She is hurt. And then she's making it look like he's the bad guy. That's the he part. is the bad guy. Ah, it's only I went to go and check his face outside. Try it with me. I'll do the exact same thing. Hmm. You don't understand that. They used to say all this try with me. People would think, man, you. And they used to say, try with me. Try with me. I mean, <laughs> collective you, whoever the person, mm. whoever the you is going to be in future. Um, I, I think that when, matter, when, when people are hurt, it seems, do yes, and you, it seems like she needs the money. It's not money. She just wants to make, make the guy feel the hurt that she's And then she's, she's saying, but she's also saying that he wants her to not have any money. That's because she's owing that what he has paid so far is like a million dollars, which yeah. is more than she's owing on lawyers, yeah. right? Yeah. And that um, she's hoping that, that he's hoping that she'll run out of money not to be able to pay for her legal cases anymore. And that is why she's pursuing this at the moment. So yeah. to me, it just feels like this is a Guys, case Guys, I was JJ in my house. You, wanted, you went and messed up the marriage. And now we have to do this legal court thing. I'm not, I'm not supposed to be paying for that. If you, you won't come out. If you if you miss me, if you didn't Maybe you won't come out. It's not like I don't want to come out. You didn't give me another option to stay. What are you saying? So but, call it. But wait, let me ask you a question. Call if you were Nicole, girl, if you were Nicole right now, yeah, and this guy is paying you two hundred and sixty-five thousand dollars monthly, will you get involved with another man? Like because the judge says the moment she gets married to somebody else or she's now cohabitating with somebody else, then. He has. To, he, he, he would. He can stop. If I'm paying. wearing Nicole's hat, she's not a small girl. Do you get what I mean? I mean, mm. I think it's for for us commoners. No offense. On the outside, the numbers are very like, oh wow, hoo hoo ha. But I know how much it is to live a celebrity life. Mm. And, and this 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 coins that we're talking about is not going to change her life completely. Mm. And I also think that the, because of the network that she's in, if she's going to meet someone, the person probably have bar to to sustain mm. the lifestyle True anyway. That. True that. And so I think she can't move on if she wants to. But this babe, the fact that she's even stressing on this guy's matter, I think she's still very much in into, in, him. into him and the love is still Especially like, you know, you know like, when you have kids with somebody, yeah, there's no it's not way easy now, you guys. get like uh -uh. sometimes the son is spending time with his father yeah. and he's doing video call and he's telling you all the cool stuff he did. Do you get you get like, you don't be like, oh wow, so he still has that in him. Do you get yeah. and then he brings back memories and you just feel and again, like, it's not like as if no <coughs> she wanted to break up. Like you're the one who now went and fell up, in love yeah. outside. So if anything, she probably is she probably wanted to keep on doing life with this man. Do you understand what I'm saying? But so, she just couldn't take it anymore. I mean, you don't have a choice, really. Like, mm. if the man is... You cannot beg somebody to love you, especially not at that age. That you one get... So, I mean, I would... See, uh -huh. I'll collect your money. I'll make it... I have to make it difficult because, like, I can't just lose on all fronts. Like, oh, I mean, let's drag. All right. So, moving on, Travis Court and Astro World Festival are currently facing numerous lawsuits after the tragic incident last weekend. According to New York Post, the rapper and Live Nation were two of the main parties being targeted in about 108 lawsuits, and the number is likely to continue to grow. Also facing lawsuits in the wake of the incident as Court's record um, company, Cactus Jack Records, a hosting production company called Scoremore LLC. Producer Sasha Stone um, and the stadium's management company ASM and a host of others. And then if you actually think about it, most of the lawsuits are about them demanding money for damages after being squished or trampled in the crowd. Some others, meanwhile, are from women who are alleged that they were sexually assaulted during the crowd surge. And some people are also, you know, including Drake in this lawsuit because they said when the whole thing started, Drake and Travis were performing on stage and they saw the entire outbreak and they continue performing. Yeah. It's crazy. Now that was when I felt what you were saying that, you know, irresponsibility on the part of Travis sure. is definitely, definitely you know, evident in this particular uh, it case. It because is. the moment I have a concert and I'm beginning to see whoa, that things whoa, are going whoa, oh, guys, guys, calm uh -uh, down. Wait, We're no. not going to perform to you guys. Oh, security, calm are you not seeing down. this rubbish? Like, Do you understand? What's like, going on there? they didn't bother Drake to continue. So they are calling Graham too. Graham too is not part of the lawsuit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, I'm calling him by his first name. Well, now, my see, guy, you now. see, I've been following the story quite often and I mean, quite steady, rather. And they're making more money. Mm -hmm. These boys are making more money. There's a 40%, 40. Like, that's a lot. There's a 40% increase in the, the streaming, streaming. The streaming capacity for what's it called for Travis. Travis. 40 is a, is a lot. If you're looking at how much streams cost and everything, he's earning millions. 
is earning a lot more. And you, let's talk about the PR. All PR is good PR. Everybody knows that. He's gotten, I think, 500,000 extra followers on Instagram. That ups your rates as well. For mm. like, Instagram pays for posts now when you get to certain levels, especially mm -hmm. for American art and um, celebrities and stuff. So he's making quite a lot of money, which is why I can understand why this stupid narrative of like, he did deliberately and he's... He sold the people's souls, and that's why he intentionally wanted to, to continue because that's what the devil had asked. All this kind of be like. But you know, some brands are you know suspending. Like I know about a particular brand that was supposed to you know let out the shoes, and they suspended that till this case is over. Yeah. And then um, I also want to you know um, give my condolences to the family of the nine-year-old boy who was trampled upon Ezra. Ezra lost his life, you know. He went with his family to go see Travis Bro, Scott. Travis like, Scott is like his icon, and this boy died going to see, see his icon. When I saw the selfie with him and his dad, that really got to me, because hmm. I'm thinking, I don't understand how I'm going to bring my son to, to a, a concert. concert. And then, and then he then dies. I with, first of all, a deformed head of my son, because hmm. he smashed, smashed his head. And then he now oh, no, 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 don't get on. too graphic about it because... Because I'm like, is this, is this even real? Is this, are we actually, is this a real thing? It is a real thing. Because I'm, I'm, I'm a bit like... Israel Blount, just nine years old. He has his whole life ahead of him. Just wanted Bro, to like, see... When the guy was in the hospital, because the people were following up the story on Twitter, when the guy was in the hospital, um, this guy, the guy that kept saying, we have so much living to do. Like, I can't lose my boy now. Ah, it broke me, fam. I'm like, on top, stupid, not Travis like, Scott. Travis Scott concert. We'll be saying, if you know at ten self, if you come to Nigeria. Do you understand? <laughs> if Travis should come now, I probably wouldn't even be eager to go. Would you be eager to go I see Travis? I don't like his music at all. Like, I don't like his music. I don't like his sound. I'm not a trap group. I'm never... It's not a Travis Scott thing. It's a trap... And tra and there's no trap person. Even Drake self... Uh, no, 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 don't go there. I, I'm telling you, except maybe all my friends are going, but I'm not gonna lie to you and say I don't really do rap or trap or like it's not really my scene. So mm. I'm the wrong person to ask. Either way, I feel like it's really, really sad mm. that that's what's going on, and I and I hope that people really start to hold these uh, these celebrities more accountable because I remember when he, when I was trying to explain this story, he wanted to eat my head off. That um, he has nothing to do with it. We're being mean and da 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 da. You have a part to play. Everybody knows that celebrities have a part to play. You might not fully fathom what you're saying, but when you're encouraging violence, that's exactly what's going to happen. Like, small Kylie Jenner will wear a pink dress, and pink dresses are sold out across the world. These people have a hold on us. So when you use your platform to say things like, oh, we're going to bring the wild ones in. I you get you, I crazy. get you, I you're, get you. You're, you're staring up violence in people's minds, and it's not necessary. Yes, of course. Anyways, let's go on a quick commercial break. Anti-time. We'll be right back.